Hey everybody, I'm Ryan from Carsonified. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you some advanced tips today uh, for Google Analytics that will help you measure and track your marketing campaigns for your web apps and websites and anything else you're marketing. So if you haven't already, you might want to first watch or sorry, read my blog post about campaigns and measuring campaigns first and then watch this video. Uh, what we're going to do is, is take it a little further. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is Google Analytics. So if you'll see here, uh, I'm logged into Google Analytics and I'm viewing the profile for membership.thinkbent.com. Right now we're looking at the basic stats for this month. Now I want to see just the stats for my marketing campaign. So how do I do that? Well, we've created a number of campaigns inside of our ThinkBetter membership admin area so that we can use URLs uh, like this. So if you see CID equals 106, that's campaign ID equals 106. Now the way that you would have gotten to the site through that is for instance on Think Vitamin, I've inserted a I've created a post here about MongoDB basic queries. And in this post, the links to the site, so this link for instance here, is tagged with CID equals 106. So if we if we go to that, you can see that there that URL includes CID equals 106. So let's go back. Um, that's a marketing campaign that I'm using and I want to track how effective is that. So let's switch back to Google Analytics. Here we go. Okay, so the, the way you do this is by creating uh, advanced segments. So let's go down to advanced segments here. Actually, you know what? Let me show you what segments look like before we actually create one. That way you can see what we're trying to do. So we're on our basic stats here, and I'm going to go to advanced segments up here, and I'm going to change this to include two segments that I've already created. Uh, this one is the campaign for our sidebar ad, and this one's for our nav item, so the, the item that says membership in the, in the nav of Think Vitamin. So let's go ahead and apply that. Now what you'll see is all of a sudden you start seeing traffic down here and numbers here from these campaigns that are separated out from your total traffic. And you get some really interesting stats. For instance, down here, you can see, okay, all visits, we had 29,000 visits. From the sidebar ad, we had 442. And from the nav item, we had 1,823. So obviously, the nav item is driving a lot more traffic. But let's see, is that traffic actually converting? So let's go into e-commerce over here and see. So once we go and view this report, you'll start seeing the really valuable data. Now I'm going to change the date range to just start uh, around November 23rd because that's when we started doing this campaign. So let's change that to be November 23rd to now or yesterday. Wait for Alex to refresh. And now you start seeing some really valuable data. Uh, the biggest one here is, let's look at conversion rate. Okay, so overall on the site we're getting about a 0.52 conversion rate. Look how good the conversion rates are on these um, on these ads. So nav items converting at 1.65, and sidebar ads converting at 1.14. So that's obviously really good to know that the nav item is working really well for us, converting very well, and driving a lot of traffic. Uh, there's a nice visual um, indication of how things are working here. You could see, okay, well, um, in general, you know, these are the conversion rates. Um, obviously, we had a really high conversion rate on one day for the sidebar ad, which is really interesting. Um, never heard of that. 7.69, not bad. Um, now, the way to get e-commerce data in here, as you're probably aware, is you need to go in and enable that. So the way you do that first is you go into analytics settings. And uh, we're going to choose to go into the analytics settings for that for membership.thinkbottom.com. You want to enable it as e-commerce website, yes. So make sure you've done that. And then once you've done that, then and you'll need to go into your conversion page and you'll want to record that e-commerce data. There's lots of tutorials on how to do that. So make sure that every time a transaction is recorded that it's getting sent over to analytics so you have that data. So let's go back and view our segments again. Okay. And then we'll switch our dates again to the 23rd. When, and that's just because that's when we started recording data on those campaigns. Um, all right, so as you can see, it's really valuable to have camp, uh, segments so you can start viewing which of your campaigns converted really well. Um, 
Let's go back into e-commerce and look at some more of this data. Uh, other valuable data you'll see down here, notice our, our nav item campaign uh, had 30 transactions uh, compared to five, which is pretty amazing. Um, what's interesting though here is that our, the, uh, the average value of that order was actually higher for the sidebar ad, which is kind of interesting. Um, so this is all good data to have. So how do you do this? All right, let's go ahead and create a segment. So I'm gonna go down here to advanced segments. And uh, you can see I've already added the, the two here. This is a name I've just chosen, CID equals 101. That's campaign ID 101 for us, which is our sidebar ad, or campaign ID 103, which is a nav item. So we wanna create a new one. And what I wanna track are these, uh, I wanna track these video insertions that we're putting. So uh, on thinkweb.com, whenever we do a, a post with a free video, and uh, that link is tagged with CID equals 106. I want to see how that's performing. So let's do that now. What you want to do is you want to do a landing page. So you, you find landing page and you drag it over here. And then we want to say uh, contains CID equals, equals 106 for us. Great. And it's going to try to autocomplete, but just uh, leave it as it is. Uh, so down in here, we're going to say CID equals 106. Um, and that is our uh, free videos um, and that's just a way to remember what this is about so it's quick that segment now you can see here it's uh, it's it's gone ahead and created CID equals 106 and that will allow us to uh, use that segment and see how it's doing okay so now that we've created this uh, CID 106 segment let's see it in action so Let's go back to our e-commerce's e-commerce reports, and let's turn on this segment up here. So uh, this is where you do that. So let's click that here, and let's turn that on, and then apply it. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, so um, in general, uh, the conversion rate's quite low for those free video posts. Uh, it's sending a little more traffic than the sidebar ad, um, and it is also uh, a little bit higher dollar value per uh, order than the, the nav item. And it's, it's uh, sent us about uh, six purchase products. So it's performing okay. This uh, conversion rate's not good at all, so it's actually worse than the, the, the site conversion rate. So. Let's check and see how much traffic it's sending. Wow, so that's interesting. Look at this. It's sending a lot of traffic though. 5,257 uh, visits. Uh, a lot of page views. Uh, 10,000 there. Um, pages per visit a little low though. 1.91. Uh, the bounce rate on that is pretty high. Um, you know, very, very high compared to the nav item and the sidebar ad. Now, the reason why is probably people click onto that and then they realize they're being taken, you know, to the membership site and they don't like that, so they, they, they come right back. Or they just view that video and then they leave. Um, so that's it, these are all good things to know. And uh, that's how you do segments in Google Analytics. Um, the only thing to remember, though, is that sometimes if, if we look at these... Uh, e-commerce settings here, let's, let's go back into that, that these conversion rates will actually be uh, a little low sometimes. And the reason why is because this is just recording people who converted in that session. Uh, if they don't convert um, in that session, say they convert later, then it won't be recorded as a, as a conversion. So for instance, uh, we I know for sure that uh, these uh, where are they? These transactions, so 30 transactions for the nav item, we've actually had more than that. Um, not a lot more, but we've had some more. So it's important to be able to tell, um, you might need to slightly recalculate that conversion uh, right here based on how much traffic you're getting, but you can accurately get the traffic that you are receiving from that. So um, this is a powerful method. I'd highly recommend you use it. It's free. Uh, you know, Google Analytics is there, ready for you to use it. The only thing that you need to make sure to do is turn on e-commerce uh, reporting in Google Analytics and then pop in the JavaScript code to actually record those transactions. 
on your app. And then here's the data. So uh, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this little uh, tutorial and I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.